There is only one place where developers feel like home, and that is localhost. But what happens when we want to expose localhost to the world? Annyeonghaseyimnika! Nicolas Inyeda, and today we're going to learn how to use ngrock and local tunnel to expose our local host to the world so we can be more productive as developers. But why would we want to make our local host public? For example, if you're working in a project in your computer and you want to test the project in your phone, then you will need a public URL so you can access what you're doing in your computer from your phone. Or let's say if you're working for a client or if you are in a hackathon and you want to show people your work and you want them to test what you are doing without having to pay for a server and upload the code to the server, then you will need to expose your local host so you can get a shareable URL so people can just go there and test what you're doing. You are basically making your computer into a public web server. Also, for example, if you are working with social authentication and you are making Facebook login or Instagram login or Kakao login and whatever, and those websites ask you for the URL of your application to redirect you back after the login is completed, or if you are building a chatbot with Slack or Telegram and you need to listen for some webhooks in your application, you will need to expose your local host to the public internet to be able to test all those things. I could keep giving you more examples, but the point is exposing your local host to the world will be something that you are going to eventually need when you're building something on the internet. It especially helps a lot when you want to preview or when you want to test some integrations with other websites. So we're going to get started by looking at ngrock, which is free but limited, and then we're going to look at local tunnel, which is free and unlimited. To expose your local host using ngrock, first go to ngrock.com, create an account and log in to your dashboard. Then download ngrock for your computer and unzip it. Then using your console, navigate to the folder where you unzipped ngrock and connect your account with the command that you see in the dashboard. Done! You are ready to expose your local host. Now keep in mind that ngrock is not a command in your console, ngrock is a file. So every time that you want to run ngrock, you have to go to the folder where the ngrock file is and you need to run it from there. Now it's time to expose your local host to the world. Now to do this, first of course, you have to have a server already running in your local host. And to expose it, all we have to do is run ngrock followed by the command HTTP and then the number of the port where your server is running. So if you have a server running in localhost 4000, you will run the command dot slash ngrock and then HTTP 4000. Once you do that, your console will turn into this. Here, as you can see, you will find the public URLs that are exposing your localhost. One is HTTP and the other one is HTTPS. On the lower part, you will see a log of all the connections happening to your server. If you want to see more information about each request, click on the link that says web interface. That will take you to a page where you can see more information about your requests. You can even replay them and you can even modify the headers if you need to. And that's it, we are done. Keep in mind that because we are on the free plan of ngrock, we can only receive 40 connections per minute and we can't have more than one tunnel running. Also, as you can see, the generated URL looks a little bit weird. And if you want to customize it, then you have to move on to a paid plan. So here's when we talk about local tunnel. Local tunnel has no connection limit. There is no need to create an account and we can even customize the URLs that we get for free. Local tunnel is a node package. So if you want to use local tunnel, first, of course, you have to have Node.js and npm installed. Then to install local tunnel, all we have to do is run npm install flag G local tunnel to install it globally. After it's installed globally, all we have to do is run the command LT in our console followed by dash dash port and then the port number that your server is running on. To customize the domain that you get, you can also use the dash dash subdomain flag and you're good to go. So for example, if I had a server running on the port 4000 and I wanted to get a URL, with the subdomain Nico, let's say, I would run the command LT dash dash port 4000 dash dash subdomain Nico. When you go to the local tunnel URL for the first time, you're going to see a message. Just click on the blue button that says continue and then you are good to go. 
So what is the point of using ng-rock if local tunnel is for free? Local tunnel is a free and open source project. This means that it's being run and maintained by volunteers and awesome people for free again. So sometimes the server can go offline until they fix it. Instead, ng-rock is powered by a company. They want money, so they will have more reliability. NGROC also has, as you saw, a very nice web interface where we can inspect, replay and modify the request. So this is very helpful when we are debugging. And if you are in one of their paid plans, you can do even more configuration to the tunnel. For me personally, I use local tunnel most of the time because it's free and I can get very pretty URLs. But sometimes I use NGROC when local tunnel is down or when I want to be able to inspect the requests and debug and do all that stuff. But apart from that, I use local tunnel most of the time. And that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something new. As you can see, it's a very, very useful thing to be able to expose your local host to the world for testing, for debugging, and for previewing your work. So I hope that now you learned something that makes you more productive as a developer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay healthy, be happy, eat kimchi, kamsangida, sangheo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.